Hey everybody, what's up? This is uh, Masley with a little tour and also a tutorial on uh, how to get and how to use Snagit. Because I post Snagit, I use Snagit over Hypercam. I think Snagit is much better. But uh, Snagit has you no know, ha lets you have best quality voice. I mean, not voice. Uh, I should say music when you create your games. You know sound and also it also has an editor to it too so you can mix up your characters and stuff portraits and all that so i'll take you where is that oh, when you first use snag it of course you're supposed to install it it's not that hard to install it the instructions will give it to you no matter what but um of course when you get snag it looks like this here goes the editor, and you know there's other things. This right here over here shows that you know you can record web text and image, take screenshots, video capture is the main one, which is I normally do if I record my Mugen games or tutorials, which is what I'm doing right now. And you always got to keep this on because there's a volume, so no matter what, make sure this is on at all costs. I'll show you the editor. And this is here, of course. You know, you can change your character stuff and all that. Like, I'll show you equipment for an example. I'll open up, you know what? I'll open up Fighter Factory. It may take a little slow because I'm actually recording this in this kind of big screen. <laughs> Alright, Fire Factory's now open. So this is just for the example I will open up one of my recent characters. Uh just give me uh Terry Bogart, which is he's about. Oh wow, he's not found. Where the hell is he then? Fuck it, I just open up one period. But yeah, this is where I normally go to get my Mugen characters uh portraits. Instead of just, you know, using the SBC Kyle's dialog way, which is I am thinking about doing it that way. But I like my way a little bit better. I don't know, it's just my opinion. Oh. Um. Oh, oops. Let me go back. Let's see, it is underneath. Hmm. I said new games. Mm, and I'll take which one? I mean, you wave characters. Let's see. We just say this for an example. You know, Wildkin. And as you know, we own up a character. You always, always, if you want to make an animation show based on how I did mine. And you will want to go ahead to their uh, sprites, and you have to zoom it in. And you know, this is all their things, of course. You know, but uh, see, what I do is when I find a particular animation that I want, I'll just you know get it. Like you know, like you see, as you see Ken jumping and everything rolling around, flipping, like him standing up plot like this. When you act the transparency, that's gone. So when you put it in your Mugen video, he actually's in the background, fits in the background. But if you have your Mugen video and have this one, he looks like it's just a block. <laughs> but the only way you do this is make sure you go to save. And make sure you save it as graphic interchange format. And most likely I always save mine on the desktop. And I'll just type in W K E N save. And as it's saving, for an example, you don't even need Fire Factory anymore. Well, you can keep it up as long as time as you want, but other than that, really don't need it. So yeah. Now, once you do that, see this right here? That's your editor, and this is Ken. Now, when we go to Ken. 
and drag him here that's Ken right there with that purple thing in the background so what you want to do is go to colors go to transparent color make sure you click on this box click that click the outside which is the color that you want to get rid of and you're done now you see you save it Ken is finished now you can look at him if it loads up you'll notice that once you save it his background as you see is, is, is really completely gone he doesn't have that anymore so when you put him in the music thing he actually fits with no problem so Take these things off. Well, this is it for this just little tour and this tutorial on how to work Snagit. I will post the link to my description box for this. This program is pretty damn good to use. So, until next time, this is Master Lee signing out.